Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info, and today we're going to be doing a charging speed test comparing Samsung's 45 and 25 watt power bricks and to see just how fast each of them can charge the 5000 mAh battery on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Right now, both of these chargers can be picked up on Amazon, with the 25 watt charger costing $16.99 and the 45 watt charger costing a rather hefty $49.99. One thing both of these chargers has in common is neither one of them comes in the box with the phone. So unless you already have a decent charge brick lying around your house, if you pick up the 22 Ultra or 22 Plus, you are probably going to want one of them. If you pick up the base S22, you don't really have to worry about this because that phone does not support 45 watt charging. That's unfortunate. With fast charging enabled, we are going to first charge the Ultra from 0 to 100% with the 25 watt charger. Then we will repeat the test with the 45 watt charger. And we aren't just going to look at the time it takes to charge the phone from zero to 100. We are also going to use my fancy schmancy charging cable to see how many watts we are pulling down throughout the charge. This will give us a good idea of charging speeds, not just for a full charge, but for those midday top offs as well. And then through the miracle of time-lapse and video editing, we will be able to have a look at both tests running side by side to see if the $50 45 watt brick is really worth the extra cash. And if you find this type of in-depth testing to be mentally stimulating, you should think about subbing to the channel. Sounds like a plan. All right, enough talk. Let's test. So when we first start out, we can see that it takes a couple minutes for the 45 watt charger to really start chugging. It peaks at 42 watts at about the two minute mark, then it settles into the low 30s for a bit, and then just steadily drops throughout the rest of the test. Meanwhile, the 25 watt charger maintains a much more steady speed throughout the test. Predictably, both chargers increase their throttling as the test goes on, which really drags out the final 10% of charge of both bricks. The 45 watt charger trickles its way to 100% at just under one hour and the 25 watt charger finishes up at just over an hour and 10 minutes. So at the end of the day, what have we learned? Well, we learned that the 45 watt brick is indeed faster, just not by a whole lot, at least not over the course of a full charge. The 45 watt charger only surpassed the 40 watt threshold very briefly and spent most of the first half of the charge in the low 30s. Meanwhile, during that same time, the 25 watt charger kept a pretty steady speed of about 24 or 25 watts. This difference was enough for the 45 watt brick to gain a 16% advantage at the 30 minute mark, but that advantage eroded as the test went on, resulting in the 25 watt brick being able to pull a 93% charge in the same time it took the 45 watt brick to reach a 100% charge. So is the 45 watt brick worth it? Actually, maybe. Where did you come from? What are you talking about? If you are someone who only needs to charge their phone at night and doesn't need afternoon or evening top-offs, then obviously you don't need to spend $50 on a faster charging brick. This also applies for people who keep a wireless charger nearby throughout the day. However, if you are a power user and you regularly find your battery dropping into the 30% range or lower in the mid to late afternoon, I do think you will get noticeably faster top-offs with the 45 watt charger. Now, is that worth 50 bucks or an extra 33 bucks over the 25 watt charger? That, my intrepid viewers, is up to you. But well, that's all the information I have for one day. As always, I hope you found this video to be useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.